Hello everyone, uh, I'm going to show you today how to install the EasyBase skins that we sell out on our website JavaPrints, J-A-V-A-P-R-I-N-T-Z dot com or JavaPrintsStudios.com as well. So basically what you're going to do is uh, you're going to navigate to your EasyBase folder where the application is installed. I usually like to put a shortcut here on the desktop that way I know, you know, I can always get to it since I'm changing these things out all the time so I want to be able to get to it and of course my icon for the application is there as well. So what I do is um, navigate to that folder and in this case mine is at Program Files, Common Files, Tune Track, Easy Base. In that folder you're gonna see Easy Base Modern, Easy Base Vintage. Well, let's go over the modern real quick and show you how to do that. Um, you basically you're gonna double click on this folder and then go into the graphics folder because that's where the the base skins are and then what I do is I make a backup of the original base that comes with the application I put that in its folder in its own folder right there so I never lose it and then I put all my other bases here modern bases as you can see here all the ones that I I would own and in this case, uh, you guys will have a lot of different choices to, to go through if you uh, buy them off of our website. In this case, we have a base in here already that's custom. So what I'm going to do is uh, the, the, the file in here is always going to be called base.png. And that's the case for vintage and also modern. The difference with the vintage is there's a pick guard on here and there's an extra file uh, called extra layer, which we will give you. Uh, nine of these when you buy a vintage base and those are five ninety nine and uh, on the website the um, the uh, the base for the modern base is four ninety nine on the website so let's go ahead and install one of these basically what you're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and you always want to copy these and paste you don't want to you know uh, delete you can delete the one that's in here because you should have a copy of it in here but we're going to go here to modern bases. Let's go into, uh, I organize these by folders, um, you know, called volume one, volume two, because I have a, many of them. And you can do the same thing, or you can put them in here. But inside the, and in, when you buy them from us, you will have what's called a folder that says what the base is. Purple skull in this case. But the file is always called base.png. So we're going to copy this file right here. I'm not going to delete it. We're going to copy it. And then we're going to go to uh, back to the main uh, tree of the folder, which is the graphics folder. And then now we can delete the one in here called base PNG because we already have a copy of that. So we'll delete that. And then we will do a uh, continue here because it's got administrative rights on it. And then you will go ahead and paste in the new um, base. So uh, let's see, we're going to go ahead and paste and you'll get this permissions thing here and as you can see now that I've pasted in that base um, oh, I should have pasted it in the tree here alright there we go there it is right there so I just pasted it in the wrong place. I pasted it into a folder instead of into the actual uh, place where it is. So there it is. That base is in there now. Now this is going to be our base that it's going to pull up. It's called a purple skull. And we're going to pull this up when we pull up uh, the application. So let's go in and do one for the, the vintage. So we're going to go back here to the main folder here, which is Easy Base, And we're going to the vintage here. And then we're going to go into the same graphics folder right here and as you can see I did the same thing I have backup bases vintage bases and the backup bases here is the, the one that originally comes with the easy base application and then here's my ones that I actually created and you see there's a base in there right now it's called base.png but that's not the actual name of the file but we we have to have that um, to rename the file um, so it'll work in the application and then you have the extra layer here which is the pick guard cover right here so I'm going to go ahead and go in here and I'm just going to grab a new base just like I did with the modern and let's go and let's grab Dirty Mind and then we're going to copy this just like we did with the uh, the vintage or the, the um, modern and now we're going to go ahead and hit graphics 
And now here, since we already have a copy of this space here, we can go ahead and delete this. Okay. There we go. That's gone. And now we just go ahead and paste in our new base. And it'll give us you know, the permissions right there. Now with these extra layer here, which you get with every base, you get nine of these, every vintage base you, you order. And so let's go and let's get, uh, let's use, uh, I'm gonna use the blue one right here. So I'm gonna copy this, this one right here. And then I'm gonna go back to the graphics folder. And then I'm gonna go down here and, and take out the, the one that's in there because I have a copy of that. And remember you always wanna, you know, just copy these and paste them in. And now I'm gonna paste in the new one. And here we go. And now I want to go ahead and just rename this in, in, into, uh, to call it, um, just want to rename this to Extra Layer. It's called Blue Extra Layer, but you want to rename this to Extra Layer so it'll read the application. And so now that that's done, all we got to do now is we'll minimize that. We'll go into the Easy Base application. And there it is. There's your purple skull base right here. For the uh, the modern base you know uh, that's a purple skull base right here and um, now we're going to switch over to the uh, vintage base and there's our dirty mine with our blue pick guard on there and um, you know base works fine and uh, this just enhances your whole experience and everything with the easy base we also have some backgrounds that we will sell out there on our website for $1.99. So we have studio backgrounds as well. They can change the look and the feel of the studio. But this also just gives you just a, a really good experience and overall experience with the, uh, the Easy Base application. And we just think that this is, um, you know, going to go over real well with people. And so. Um, So uh, this is a beautiful application. As you know, it has plenty of different things in it. Here's the different effects that you have in here, which I, I believe this is really good. I'm a bass player myself, and um, I just love this because you can create all different types of grooves and everything with this in here. And um, it just has so many different um, things that you can do with this. And that's what I love about this application. And so, um, so when you actually get a chance to mess around with it, you'll find that it's a beautiful application. And this right here just enhances your whole experience with uh, the Easy Base application just by uh, going over and looking at all the different skins and everything like that. And we have plenty that. We